Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to another Cup of Tech. Last week you guys were telling me to dress into all these different clothes. Such as a Hawaiian shirt. With a, with a necklace of flowers. And with a straw hat. But I didn't know which hat. I just didn't know. So with all that, let's get on with the show. So, look at these eyes. These are tired eyes. I woke up at 3 o'clock this morning. Almost every week when I do these shows, I'm waking up really early before I do it. iPhone 5. Yes, it's happened. Apple's come out and said, here it is. Here is our phone for the year. Take a look. Now, the leaks that we saw leading up to this really allowed us not to be very surprised. So we saw the picture and went, oh, it's exactly what we expected. A little bit taller and tall enough to allow an extra row of icons. Um, so it does a four inch screen now, which is nice to see. I do like the fact that they have made it bigger. They've accepted that people do want bigger phones. Um, it's true 16 by nine. We're actually watching videos as well. That's good. It's lighter than the previous version. It's faster than the previous version, taller, and apparently we'll have better battery life as well, which let's admit, you know, we really needed it. So that's going to be nice to see. Um, the headphone jack moved to the bottom, the dock connector has changed. If you want to use your old accessories with the new iPhone, you will need to buy an adapter for about 30 Australian dollars, or around that. So that's really the biggest things. LTE uh, worldwide, which means in Australia, 4G for Optus and Telstra. That's nice to see as well. Um, you know, that really was the biggest gist of it all. There's not a huge thing, a huge amount of stuff to say about the new iPhone. It kind of didn't blow me away. It didn't give me a huge wow factor. It, you know, when I watched the Nokia announcement last week, I was a lot more wowed in that one than I was in this one. There is not as much innovation in this phone as I expected. Uh, I'm not, I'm not disappointed. The phone is still going to be a decent phone comparable to what we have today. But I'm concerned that because they only have a 12 month life cycle, that within the 12 months, they're going to be looking really, really old and obsolete. I just think that they need to be a little bit ahead of the game to allow for that buffer time. I just don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's the best move they've ever made. Um, it is good to see some changes, but I expected a little bit extra. No NFC, for example, was a huge letdown. I am a bit saddened by that because when they've got Passbook for all these coupons and things like that, you would think NFC is the perfect friend because you can then use them to tap where you are into the stores and things like that and opening, opening the door to mobile payments. And that's just not what we're going to see with the new iPhone. Bit of a shame, but uh, it is what it is. A whole bunch of new iPods announced as well. Really cool, but you know, they're, they're audio devices. You can check them out. There you go. Not so long ago, I swear I've mentioned this on a Cup of Tech episode before. I spoke about the Google Glasses. Now, Google are making these glasses which will allow you to take photos, to do augmented reality, which can sort of overlay on things that you're looking at. Some really cool stuff. Now, we saw Google Glasses appear at New York Fashion Week. Um, DWF, I believe, is the designer which was showcasing their items at the time. And Google has jumped in with these fashionable glasses, a little bit with different colors and things like that. And they're actually producing photos of what the models see walking down the catwalk and behind the scenes and stuff like that. So they just showed us pictures, but they said that there's a video coming as well. I'll probably put that in next week's show if it actually comes in or is put on the website. But it's really cool to start seeing that you know, fashion is starting to see technology as well. I knew that was going to happen when I first saw Google Glasses that, you know, companies like Prada would start bringing out their own versions and things like that. And I think this is the first step to what I thought was going to happen. Really exciting stuff. Technology plus fashion. That's kind of cool. It's, it's kind of cool. It's not so nerdy anymore. Now, for those of you who are a little bit upset by the dock changes on the iPhone, the new iPhone which is coming, one thing to remember is that docks which you buy now, try and make sure they don't just have a port for connecting in. Try and look at Bluetooth docks. I recently reviewed the, uh, the Jawbone Jambox. A perfect example. That, that dock will work with any iPhone, any phone, any device, actually, because it's got the 35 mil out. Now, this week I heard about Jabra. Jabra, I've reviewed headsets from them before, and they usually make really good earpieces and things like that. They're bringing out their own little little speaker box, and it is really small. It looks like a boot. It really, when you look at the pictures, you see it looks like a boot. It's got like a little boot lid to tuck it in and things like that. It's called the Soulmate, which to me is cool. I like the name. Um, and it is just a little Bluetooth box, but it also has a three and a half mil connection if you don't have Bluetooth. 
going to be an awesome little friend to take with you in the summer. It's got a little bag which you can put around it to keep it protected from the sand and so on. So take it with you to the beach, dump it on top of your towel, put some music on and play volleyball. That's what people do. Also, Amazon. Amazon came out uh, just after I did Cup of Tech last week, which was bad timing for me, but that's just the way it is. With the new range of Kindles, now they've released some Kindle Fires, which that we've seen sort of before, we've seen the first versions. What I was most excited about was the new Kindle e-reader, which is probably the product they're most famous for, is, is their e-readers. They're fantastic. I've never seen a product which compares as well with their e-readers as the Kindle does. It's just brilliant. Now what they've done this time is they've announced a new version. I think it's Paper White, Paper Light, Paper-ish. It's a backlit display, so rather than having a little torch which you shine on your on your e-reader, because let's face it, it's just an e-ink screen, they've now put these LED backlights behind it so you can read it day, night, mornings, whatever you like. Really nice to see, very excited by it. You know, they're talking about more pixel density, they're talking about a sharper contrast, anti-glare still of course. Eight weeks battery life. That's two months. Two months that you can worry about charging it. That's so... It's amazing. And it's thinner and it's just beautiful. And I want one. I'm just saying it. I want one. I need one. We all do. No one buys books anymore in print, right? Please don't tell me you buy books. Now this last one is something a little bit different. It's more for my really young viewers, for like the three-year-olds. If any three-year-olds are watching, this is, this is for you guys, but probably more for the parents, if you've got a three-year-old or a younger kid. Now this is a product from Toys R Us. I don't really cover products from Toys R Us, except for this one. They've decided to bring out a tablet called the Tabio. Now the Tabio is a simple seven inch tablet, but it runs Android. And it comes loaded with, what is it, like 50 preloaded games, educational games and things like that, suited for the kids. You can lock them down so they can only browse certain websites and so on. But you can just imagine that this product is what is the reason that you would, hang on. This product is what you'd give to your kids to save, save your iPad and to save your more expensive tablets and so on because I know that on long road trips if you've got kids in the back and you want to keep them happy you want to give them just anything you just tell them take it take it take it like a tablet like this one this one's great it's got it's a solid build it doesn't look like they're gonna break it in a hurry and you know what it's not that expensive either the Tabio from Toys R Us I'm excited about this one not for me but if I had a kid if I had a kid I would give that to them and say here you go knock yourself out have fun and uh, don't talk to me for the rest of the road trip. Guys, that really is it for me this week. I didn't want to talk too much about the iPhone. You've probably already heard way too much about it from other news sources and things like that. Do check out the story on the website as well. Ultimately, am I extremely excited about it? No, I'm not that excited about it. I'm just, yeah, it's another phone. I don't, it, to me, Apple hasn't become the there's this scary competitor anymore. I think there are some better phones out there than the one that's coming. But, uh, you know, each to their own. Let me know, will you be buying the iPhone 5? I'm actually not sure if I'll be able to get hold of a review unit. Apple products are really hard for me to get hold of. Um, so, yeah, do hit me back and let me know what you think. You know, what's, what's your move? What's your next move going to be? I'm quite happy with my Samsung Galaxy S3. It's kind of doing the job. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. Another cup of tech. Bye.